Hello everybody, my name is Skybound. Stoic Flux! And we've just got finished watching episode 36 of Boku no Hero Academia. And again, it's another... They're basically panning this out, ain't they? Of course. They, they are. They're basically trying to... They don't just get straight to the battle you actually want to flipping see. We have another episode like the previous one, which... Again, it's really flipping good. I enjoyed it. You know what? Last episode, I said about Mineta that, oh. you know, I'd, I'd start liking him a bit more as soon as he actually does something useful. Yeah, and he actually did do something useful for once. And he's actually done something useful, so, you know, <laughs> I'll stick by it. Okay. Maybe, I have to admit... Maybe he's not a complete pervert, just like 99% one. Well, yeah, 99 percent, <laughs> 99, no, 99.99%. Yeah, but there's a tiny little smidgen of hero in there, I guess. I mean, he wants to be a hero so he gets all the girls. That's basically the whole, his whole motivation. I mean, it's a motivation, but okay. It's not, he doesn't just want to be a hero for the sake of he being a hero now. At least he wants to be a hero because he gets the girls from, so there's something else there, but... Oh my god, it's like... Why did you have to flipping save me, damn it? <laughs> Pretty much. From the, from the tape guy, who I can't remember his name of, but... <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah. He actually manages to put it off. I, he was just... He was basically um, bluffing at that end. It's like, yeah, this was my plan all along. It's like, yeah, sure it fucking was. It's like, <laughs> I don't think it was, but, you know, let's, let's just uh, put that aside. Well, the fact that he was able to muster up at the... Let's not jump about the bus here. Anyone who manages to improve in any form or faster, I mean, let's face it, we weren't expecting that. We weren't expecting him to survive that. I'm surprised of all the ones that have competed so far, it was Asido who um, ended up failing. Uh, the... Asido's team, the Acid, yeah. like the, the pink one. Yeah. Like, it's like all of them managed to pass, even the ones I wouldn't, like, even Uraraka and uh, fucking Frenchie, like... Yeah. I was... I, I thought those... Well, to be fair, they were going up against a principal which... Essentially, uh, from the sound of things, he was ex experimented on by, uh, like, by humans. But it sounds like he's really super fucking clever and capable of... And like, what was his quirk? Something like... Um, it was basically stat. like... Super stats or something like that. So basically, he could work out probabilities really flipping easily. So in other words, he could work out he could work out the chain reactions because he could work out like the consequences of each action. So you know it and work out where they'd be be at those points of those uh, <clears throat> of those reactions. I mean that is really like that's insane. Like the other ones have abilities that are more you know obvious than that. Yeah. And, it's a, and it's quite a vague ability, but it's you can tell that even if you can't get a just on their ability, which in itself is like shows how powerful it is, you know, you can tell even if you don't fully understand what the fuck their ability is, that it's quite a powerful fucking ability if he's in a situation where he can actually use it. Because let's face it, in that situation, the only reason why it worked is because he actually could find a wrecking ball thing to knock it down in the first time place. Yeah. Um, uh, and also, just in general, the the battles were quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of fun to see. Again, we got to see more sort of um, mm, power being yeah. used. Um, got to say, see Jiro and uh, Ko Koji. I think I think his name is uh, the 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 one who's kind of all quiet. Uh, oh yeah, and it, it turns out he is. just talks talks some bugs, and then that loud mouth fucker just gets. Basically, just crawled off my butt. To be fair, I, I think I'd be done at that stage. I'd be like, nope. That, oh, look, it's a whole swarm of nope. <laughs> it's like, I mean, to be fair, he does remind me slightly like Fluttershy. Uh, Koji. Um, yeah. Because he's the one who can speak to the animals and get them to do what they basically, you know, that's essentially Fluttershy. <laughs> a little bit. And yeah. Even down to being not a very good, not a very um, active talker, let's say. Because it, it apparently it, it's like, oh, so you can speak then? <laughs> yeah. Um, and 
just in general, that was quite a fun episode just to watch. And of course, they had to end it. They had to end it at the point. The point where you actually watched Deku them. and Bakugo are about to uh, <laughs> about to fight it out against Storm. Like. This has been two episodes where we haven't seen the action from him. It's like, come on, stop. Delayed for fuck's sake, not another filler episode. Yeah, exactly. But that was that that was a that was a fun episode still. I don't It's really... still fun though, I still enjoyed it, it's just I want to see the battle already. God damn it. Yeah. I know we're doing it deliberately to make you want to see the bloody battle, but it's still flipping always me. Yeah, I mean I don't really know really what else to say really. There isn't really anything else to say, that's the reason why it kind of Yeah, yeah it was a it was a decent episode. I'll, I'll give it. A... Oh, and the tea scene. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drinking tea intensifies. <laughs> British, no, no. Britishness intensifies. Just overlay a Union Jack flag over that. <laughs> Britain. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But yeah. Maybe we should put that at the end of the reaction, which, by the way, is in the description. <laughs> Solid episode, I'd give it a uh, 7.8 out of 10. Um, 7.8, uh, yeah, I would say that, yeah. But about seven... 78%, yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah, okay, fair enough, yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, good episode, would thoroughly recommend, and I guess just keep up until uh, next time yeah. uh, for the next episode of Booking on Hero Academia. As usual, my name is Skybound. Sorry, Lex. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.